Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to take a close look at the cross-processing filter that's found in the effects module of On One Photo Raw 2018. Back in the days of film, when we worked in the wet dark room, when we shot with a specific type of film, we were supposed to use a very specific set of chemicals to process that specific type of film. Well, sometimes we would switch it up and we'd use what many would consider the wrong chemicals to process that film. That's called cross-processing. And when one would do that in the dark room, we'd often come up with some very unique uh, results. You know, a lot of times the image would have a little bit of a color tint to them, or maybe the contrast would be off a little bit, or maybe a combination of them, or maybe it would be bleached a bit. Either way, you would get a very unique look. Most commonly, we would shoot print film, that would be color negative film, and we'd use the chemicals for slide film to process it. That's positive film uh, chemicals to process it. And we get a kind of a unique tint and contrasty look to the image. On the other hand, sometimes you would shoot a positive film, that slide film, and you would use color negative chemicals to process it, and you'd get a wholly different look with that. In the description below this video, I'll have a little link to Wikipedia, and you could look up cross-processing so you could get an idea of what it was in the darkroom. With On One Photo Raw 2018, we have a cross-processing filter, and you could really get pretty much the same type of effect very easily with this filter. So we're in the effects module and we're going to go to add filter and we're going to go down to cross process. And you can see it's one of those filters again that as soon as I apply it, it does something to your image. Now you can see right off the bat here, it kind of tinted the shadows a little bit blue and it increased contrast. And like most on one filters going across the top we have these styles and we have this blue style right here and we could click on that and we'll get pretty much the same thing. And then we have green. You can see how it gives it a green overall tint. Yellow. Then under this drop down we have a couple more. We have the blue, green, and yellow but we also have fashion passion and we have urban sickness and that is pretty heavy handed that one there. So you could, of course, come in and just use one of these styles. If you're not satisfied with anything, if you go up and hit this little reset arrow here, it doesn't reset the image as though the filter wasn't there. There's before, no filter at all, and there's with the filter, reset. So it does still apply something. It's not really this blue either. If you look at the sky, when I click on this blue preset style, you can see the sky changed slightly and I'll reset it now and you can look at the sky I'm resetting it right now oops there I saw a little bug in it too uh, sometimes it will do that kind of weird blue uh, splash of screen uh, for some reason but it's you know temporary and then it comes back to normal so anyways it when the filters active you're always going to have an effect on your image if you want to kind of dial in a custom effect that isn't one of the preset styles, it's very easy to do. You would go to this drop down first, and you could see that there's three different colors involved blue, green, and yellow, and each of them are like in regular strength or strong. So we have blue, then we have blue strong, then we have green, green strong, yellow, yellow strong. So what you would do is decide on the uh, tint you want to use first because that really grossly affects the image. Uh, so you pick that one first and let's say we're going to stay with blue and then you have the amount slider and when the amount slider is at zero it's as though the cross-processing filter isn't being used at all. So turn up the amount to bring in the amount of the filter you want to affect your image. The brightness slider affects the entire image. Sometimes when you apply the cross-processing filter it may uh, adversely affect the image's tone 
and um, you know make the highlights too bright or maybe make the shadows too dark and you'd have to move this brightness slider to try to compensate for any uh, adverse changes the cross-processing filter does to the tone. Below that is contrast and that again will affect the entire image. Um, if A lot of times when you cross-process an image even in the wet dark room you would increase contrast greatly with this slider you could decrease it if you want. There were some cross-processing chemicals we used on print film where we would get very low contrast, something like that. So you could really dial in the exact film look uh, that a photographer used to get in the wet dark room very easily. So you could bring in the contrast and then of course there's the saturation slider and we could increase or decrease the color saturation uniformly throughout the image. Once you decide on what you like, let's say it's something like that, you could create your own preset style. Go to this drop down where it says more, go down to save style, and then just give it a, a name. I'm going to call it, as I usually do, my style, and enter. Now we'll close that filter down like we're not using it at all, and I'll add it again. We'll go to cross processor. And then we'll go to this drop down and it's right on top, my style. And you can see it's the sliders are then in the exact same position I had them in and the color is utilized as well. So you can see it's a pretty powerful and interesting filter. I think that you could really get a unique look with this filter like we did the other filters we covered in previous videos, the grunge filter and what was the other one we did? The bleach bypass filter, I think it was. So you could really get a unique look. I'd like to do a couple different images just to give you how this filter may look in different types of uh, situations. So I'm going to go back to Browse and we'll get another landscape image, uh, this one here. And we'll go to the Effects module and I'll add the Cross Process filter. And you can see right out of the bat, it gives that kind of bluish look. There's the blue, there's the green, there's the yellow. Go to the drop down, fashion, passion, urban sickness. Kind of like that fashion, passion. You could use that, uh, any of these styles as a starting point, apply it, and then you could come in and better uh, dial in the filter to your taste. Kind of like that right there. So I'd say that one is done. And I just wanted to show you it real quick on a uh, image of a person. Uh, we have this image here which we've used in previous episodes. We'll go to add filter, cross process, and you can see what it does to skin tone. This is specifically why I wanted to show you it on a person. It's not something you probably want to use for senior portraits or weddings or things like that, but it is something you would do for art photography or some type of fashion that you want to uh, try to make very experimental or different. So there's blue, there's green, there's yellow. You see a lot of yellow um, portraiture nowadays with this yellow overall tint. So they have yellow strong as the drop down. You can make it even stronger by moving the amount up. Something like that. And I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of this kind of yellow look that's been around. Uh, personally, I don't care for it at all. Uh, but to each his own. Uh, there's Fashion Passion. I kind of like Fashion Passion for this one. I kind of like what it's doing to her look. Bring the contrast down, saturation up. So you get an idea what you could do with the cross processing filter. It's a very uh, powerful filter, like most of the filters in On One Photo Raw 2018. But it's a, really a filter that will allow you to express yourself artistically. And I hope you take advantage of these um, just to do something different even. You could be just a straight landscape photographer or straight wildlife photographer. But every now and then it's fun to mix things up and do something a bit different. And I think these uh, filters, the bleach bypass filter, the grunge filter, the cross process filter, are filters that will allow you to interpret a scene in a different way and express yourself uh, in your work. Check them out. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.